Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking another look at the hide and seek game mode. Now the other day you might have seen my video where I spoke briefly about the new game mode, explained a bit about how it works. Today and in my next video I want to go into a bit more depth about the different roles and give you guys some hints and tips on the best ways to try and win. So today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the seeker role and in my next video we'll be taking a look into the hider role. Now for those of you who aren't aware, a brief overview, this game is basically where there are five seekers trying to chase down one hider. The hider has four minutes to survive whilst basically driving an AI standard car and then they have to get to an escape route whereas the five seekers have to hunt them down within that time and fill up their seeker bar. Now in order to do this the seekers get the choice out of 12 cars so there's a decent choice here there's some off-road there's some supercars and there's some good all-rounders in there. Now the key thing is you don't know what map you're going to play before uh, you pick your cars so it's sort of a best guess. Now personally I'd recommend choosing Using a car that sort of suits your play style more than anything just a general all-rounder now i tend to opt for the nissan gtr i think it's really good in pretty much all aspects except for maybe some of the harsher off-road but still it's really really good it's got fantastic acceleration and handling but just remember no matter what car you pick you're probably going to be faster than the hider anyway but i just said like i said sorry go with whichever one you prefer the most the one you're more experienced with potentially or just the sort of category of car you prefer next thing to note is your radar in the bottom of the screen now as you can see it starts off as a very small sort of blob on the radar which gives you the direction of where the hider is as you get closer to them that blob will get bigger and bigger and will keep aiming towards them until you're within a certain radius when it will completely fill that radar at which point you are very close to the hider and you've basically got to try pinging all the cars around you or ramming into them now not all the time the hider is driving slowly sometimes they might be driving just like an average yobbo and flying around the map so it'll be really easy to spot them if not and they're trying to blend in with traffic it will be a bit harder which is where the ping perk comes in so by pressing y if you're within a certain radius of the hider it will highlight their car for a few seconds now that will obviously reveal their position to the rest of your teammates but the hider is also made aware that they've been pinged so they might then try to floor it and use their chase breaker perk on you which will basically just stop you in your tracks completely and put them into ghost mode but what it is really key to do is make sure you keep an eye on your radar it i've seen it before with lots of people sort of driving around just following random ai cars but the radar is miles off from where the person is it's still showing a small sort of blotch uh, in that area you want to wait until you get that radar fully complete and filled in that's when you want to start ramming the random ai cars and trying to take a guess at where the hider is and what they're in but apart from that that's sort of it being a seeker is actually quite easy um because obviously you've got more people the hiders perk is a bit more op um and very much more powerful than the ping perk that the seekers have but there's only one of them and they're in a slower car so it makes sense but that's pretty much it in terms of being a seeker there's not a whole lot more to it they won't, like I said, the hiders won't always be just trying to drive around slowly, pretending to be AI. They might be hidden in certain spots in the sort of underground tunnels or somewhere in the wilderness. So don't always expect them to be driving around slowly. But either way, once you find them, it's quite easy to keep track of them. And that's pretty much the gist of playing the Seeker. Now, hopefully this guide has helped you out. If you've got any other tips for this sort of part of the game mode, then please let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know your opinion on this game mode because I'm having a really fun time with it, if I'm brutally honest. There are some improvements to be made, but obviously I spoke about them in my previous video. But hopefully this did help you out with a few sort of hints and tips and a general guide on how to play Seeker. Now, like I said, in the next couple of days, I'll release a video going into a bit more depth on the Hider role, giving some proper hints and tips uh, on how to be successful in that role. But anyway, like I said, I hope this video helped you out. If it did and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.